Hi, my name is Randy Rempel, and I'm a Senior Product Manager. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to measure application deviations in Migrator for Notes to SharePoint. Measuring application deviations can help you with analysis. It is often very helpful to compare the design of Notes databases to a template or similar database. This step can save you a lot of time in trying to understand what type of database that you have. To run the deviation analysis, click on the Measure Deviations checkbox. The default button will automatically find the template database based on the template name, if there is one. You can assign the reference database automatically during the auto triage process by setting up a class rule and using the fields on the auto triage tab. Let's select a database or template to compare to. If both databases have had a design scan done, then you can get a comparison of the two databases immediately. Or if you press the Scan Design button, both databases will be scanned immediately. I've already run the design scan on this database. I do see values for design element delta and percent match, but these are from a previous scan. I have not run the design scan on the reference database that I am comparing the design to. I'll click on Scan Design. After the scan completes, I can see the values for design element data and percent match. The design element delta is the difference in design between the current database and the reference database. The delta includes a comparison of the field names on all of the forms and subforms. The percent match is the percentage that the current database matches the reference database. I can click on Difference Deltas to see more details. By default, I only see the list of design elements that are not matched between both databases. The design elements in the current database are highlighted in yellow icons. Those for the reference database are highlighted in white. A matching design element will appear to have an equal sign in the icon. You will also see the Differences button appear at the bottom of the screen. I can double click on the main topic to see the differences. Now I can see which fields do not match on the main topic form between the current database and the reference database. Matching fields will not appear in this display. A very long list of fields in this display could indicate that the forms are not a close match even though they share the same name and have some fields that match. A very high percentage match could indicate that you found a match. I consider 90% or higher to be a high match. I would still look in the design element differences to see if there are forms or views that match. However, databases with a match that is below 90% may have some similar design elements, but also some new or different design elements. These design elements need to be reviewed to determine if they need to be redesigned and rebuilt on SharePoint. The real benefit of this automated design comparison is that it can save you a lot of time in comparing many applications. You can run the comparison as often as you like and change the reference database as many times as you like. Select Recompute Database Details and check the Compare Designs with all class templates for current best fit. You can also set more databases to be reference databases. Adding a reference database is performed by creating a new technical or business classification rule. You add a reference database to the class template in the properties of the classification rule. 